Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Another entry for you here. I promised I was going to go ahead and knock out one more of these Cryptids of the Week before I started on my Urban Legends video. This time, hitting the random page on the cryptids.wikia.com website brought me to this particular cryptid that I've never heard of before, but apparently it is a very well-known cryptid in Slavic mythology. And what I'm talking about is this entity known as the Leshy, but also goes by the name of the Lesovic, although more commonly it's called the Leshy, which you'll see a picture of here. And basically, it's another, yet another, shape-shifting entity of some sort that lives in the forest. I've talked about those before in some of my past videos. This time, though, the way it moves, the way it talks, uh, I'm sorry, the way it acts, um, the way it tries to protect its woodland forests and the creatures inside it, it kind of reminded me of the entity in DC Comics known as Swamp Thing. So I, I was wondering if, after looking at all this information, if you'll see the same comparisons that I do when it comes to this Leshy. Who knows, maybe Swamp Thing was derived from this particular entity. But what is the Leshy altogether? Well, it's a woodland spirit that pretty much has been a long time around in Eastern Europe or Western Europe, um, but particularly in Slavic mythology. It can be anything. I mean, it's a shapeshifter, but traditionally it appears as a tall man, like a tall, disheveled, almost homeless looking man who can change sizes. Uh, this is an entity that can be something as small as, let's say, a blade of a grass and then something as tall as a very, very tall tree, like, let's say, like a red forest forest almost size. Um, it has its entire body made from grass and vines. That's why I was thinking of a Swamp Thing whenever I was reading this information. So its beard is essentially intertangled leaves and vines and so forth. Um, it has tail, it has hooves, it has horns, usually again made of tree-like or grass-like materials. Its skin has been described as being pale white, although in some cases it can be seen more bluish, only because of the fact that it's traditionally known as having blue blood and then there a sh this is a sheer contrast to one of its known features which is bright green eyes so imagine something like this in the forest whenever you see something involving bright green eyes and especially if you're in um, anywhere involving Eastern Europe the forest around there then you could be dealing with a leshy. Um, there's also the idea that the leshy and its bond with the forest, it particularly ties it to many animals there, uh, especially the gray wolf and then also bears. So it's seen to accompany these creatures um, there in Europe. And the idea is that this particular uh, entity, the, the leshy, its whole purpose is to protect the forest that it lives in. It does so fanatically. Um, it's not really bad towards humans. It's not necessarily evil, but at the same time, it does protect the forest and it ensures that if anyone tries to mess with the forest or with itself, then it will definitely take care of business. But there are some curious things regarding the leshy that I found. Um, I don't know if these are I guess particularly true, but this particular, I mean, this, this information, it's bizarre. Like, for example, the Leshy is known to have a red scarf. Why? I mean, I, I don't exactly see the correlation between it looking like Swamp Thing and then all of a sudden having a red scarf. And then on top of that, it has, for whatever per crazy reason, it has a left shoe on its right foot. Again, very bizarre on that part. Um, I don't know why or the reasoning behind that, but that those are the two initial traits. Although one that is particularly creepy is the fact that it casts no shadow. There is something that is um, unsettling regarding that. I mean, when you're looking at any kind of thing in the world, um, especially if it involves the sun hitting it, it always casts a shadow. But in this case, the Leshy, wherever it's at, a good way to find out, especially like let's say if you come across a bird in the forest, or if you come across a bear, or anything else that just um, resembles an animal of some sort, because again, this is a shape-shifting entity. If you do not see a shadow cast from whatever you're looking at, then chances are you are looking at a Leshy itself. Now back to what it does as far as its role as a protector. All it does is it roams the forest, um, apparently itself and other leshies because there are multiples of them. They guard the forest within their own territories. And the idea is um, they allow humans to live around their areas. But again, anything involving farmers and shepherds, 
um, they cannot cross into these forests and if they do so then they must make some kind of pact of some sort pretty much stating that they will not um, do any kind of harm to the forest and in turn the leshy makes a pact with them that they will protect their crops and their sheep um, and again if something happens and let's say there's woodcutters coming around they're trying to uh, bring down certain parts of the forest and the leshy has not agreed to it then they are known to hide the axes of woodcutters they are known to get people lost within the woods they are also known to have um, like imitations of cries of people that uh, they are familiar with so let's say if there's a contractor in the woods whose um, work is to try to take down several acres of wood then it'll start crying in the voice familiar to that contractor let's say a relative or a blood member and when that happens it's the whole idea is to try to get this person lost so going back to again what I was saying it's not bad it's not evil but it will definitely take care of business up to the point of getting people lost enough so that they can get harmed maybe even killed although I didn't see anything as far as um, these leshies actually killing someone directly but you know stretch it out if someone gets lost in the middle of a wood that's hundreds of acres long then there's not much hope for that person thereafter um, also the leshies uh, with regards to them protecting cattle once they make these packs with these farmers and their shepherds they in turn protect the cattle on the farms by ensuring that they don't wander off too far in the woods and in turn get hurt themselves obviously there's uh, predator animals in the forest from wolves to bears and so the idea is these leshies once they work in agreement with the farmers then they in turn do something that is that assures that wherever these cows are roaming around the forest they do not go into the forest themselves which is kind of unique because when you think about it um, cows pretty much stay in herds and stay in their own farm like areas without the need in some cases of of let's say giant barbed wires that extend for who knows how many hundreds of miles long so the idea that something like this is in the forest there and is purposely making sure that the cows don't go about maybe that it might answer why cows don't come across certain forest areas like they don't get lost in other words um, the leshy is also someone that and this is another curious thing about the leshy anyone that crosses its path it likes to trick people into getting lost and be the reason for this is because it likes to tickle them to death I found that to be probably the most bizarre thing yet involving this leshy I don't know what it likes about tickling people but it likes doing so and maybe in an unintentional manner or unintentional manner it does it so much as far as the tickling that the person dies from laughing crazy crazy stuff but yeah those are the uh, things involving the leshies themselves um, they're not necessarily again bad creatures they're more just like species swamp thing where they're just there to make sure that their land is protected and then in turn they'll allow humans to do so um, to do their thing be farmers be shepherds whatever as long as they don't do anything harmful to themselves um, as, as far as coming across an actual leshy and let's say you wanted to actually defeat it in a sense the easiest way to do so and there's only one way to truly get this done is if you know for sure that you're coming across the leshy and again the best way to do it is either look for something with glowing green eyes whether it's a bird or whether it's a fox or whatever and then also look for it to not cast a shadow on the ground if you know that this is happening then turn your clothes inside out and then take your shoes and reverse them so in other words take your clothes Turn them inside out and then with your shoes, take your left shoe and put it on your right foot and take your right foot and put it on your left foot. And then that will in turn ensure that the leshy does not cause you any kind of harm. I don't know why uh, this particular trick works, who knows, um, but this is the Slavic mythology. It's the idea that if you turn your clothes inside out and then wear shoes on your opposite feet, then you will in turn not be harmed by the leshy and you can go about your way where you were originally going without getting lost and without getting hurt by the leshy crazy stuff um, as others think that actually the leshy is some form of demon as well it's something that resides in these forests um, in areas that haven't been uh, let's say encountered by humans in the longest time and then once someone comes across it then here's this thing that'll enjoy the hell out of making sure that it'll torment someone um, up because of the nomadic nature and the uh, 
or the location being so far away from others that it'll enjoy essentially stalking and then preying on these poor people. So crazy stuff. Has anyone else heard about the Leshy? Um, any other tales that they can talk about? It seems to be only tied to, again, Western, Eastern Europe. Um, nothing here in the U.S. that I recall as far as the Leshy or anywhere else in other parts of the world. But I was trying to see if anyone has any... Um, any stories like of surviving a leshy, but I wasn't able to come across any. So if anyone has any information uh, with regards to that, it'll be interesting to hear. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.